Okay, guys, we're going to be playing something a little different today. Um, main reason being that uh, I'm at the point in XCOM where uh, my next mission is the Assault on the Alien Base, the first big one you do. And um, I'm not entirely sure I have enough recording space to record that whole mission. So we're going to do a little... Uh, fun little run here in Shovel Knight, which is a game I've been talking about a lot on Facebook. Uh, I'm not sure many of you are familiar with what exactly it is, though, so I'm going to show you. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Let's do this for Cory here. I am going to be Iron Fox Bat. Um, why is that not why didn't the A go in? Did I miss it? I did miss it. No, I did not. I am maxed out. Iron Fox... Okay, whatever. Iron Fox BT. And exactly none of you know what that song is, so... You know. Yes! So this is Shovel Knight. Um, you'll see a little bit of the background here. Long ago were untamed, roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic slam. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving shovel knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her order. Now, the tower is unsealed. And devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Thing number one you're gonna notice. Awesome music. Amazing music. Thing number two. If you've ever played DuckTales, you might recognize what I just did. Myself, I've only seen people play it, DuckTales that is, but uh, even that, even just having seen it, I instantly recognized that mechanic. I was like, oh, that's from DuckTales. That's a good thing to pay homage to. Bam! So yeah, this is Shovel Knight. It's kind of a bam. Kills people with a shovel. I mean, you'd do it if you could, right? One thing this game is definitely not short on is secrets. So, uh, look for walls that seem to stand out. Or look different somehow. You want to attack those with your shovel. This right here, that is a checkpoint. Um, actually, in this game, you can destroy checkpoints if you want to. And you will get a, ni a nice big, uh, piece of treasure for it, but you don't get the advantage of the checkpoint, so don't die if you do that. Otherwise, uh, it's bad news bears. Right. And I've played about halfway through this game, so uh, you might notice that I am moving pretty quickly here, but that's why. It's because I played about halfway through this. And yeah, you have a bubble breathing dragon. I don't know why it breathes bubbles. Uh, that's a question for smarter people than me to answer. I'm sure there's some kind of reason. Okay, I hate these skeletons. Their attack pattern is so bullshit. It, it just is. There we go. Keep attacking those walls, finding those secrets. Speaking of which, you notice how this wall looks different? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
get through this. Oh god. Oops, forgot about that. That's no fun. And boom, boom, boom. Alright. And a bunch of skull heads. Just because. Okay, you see this, um... This music note over here. You grab those, and there's, um... Right after this level, in fact, you're gonna find a village. In the village is a bard. You give him those music pages and put the notes on them, he will give you 500 gold. And he also kind of serves as a BGM feature, which for a game with music like this is, you know, that's its own reward, really. But uh, they give you another one for, you know, the people who can't appreciate the good music. Another thing about this game, don't immediately kill every enemy. Because most of the time, um, or a lot of the time anyway, Enemies aren't just there as obstacles. They're there as a way to get to something. Usually treasure. And that dragon I killed just a little bit ago, if I had killed it normally, wouldn't have been able to get that red gem. There's a slime. He doesn't like me. Let's see. Let's be just like rock. There's another checkpoint. Pop the bubble. Get more treasures. And we soldier on. So yeah, you'd like that dragon right there. He is basically a stepping stone. Like that. Jump on over. Secret. Okay, this is another thing that Shovel Knight likes to do a lot. It likes to do branching paths. So... Okay, I think this is the main path. Sometimes... Oh, shit. Sometimes the branching paths in question um, will actually be two different ways you can take through the stage. Other times, the branching path will lead to some treasure or... Uh, later in the game, once you start fighting the equivalent robot masters, who are of course the Order of No Quarter, then um, you will start seeing like items at the end of the alternate paths. But here it's just a music sheet. And then you just kind of rock your way across the bubbles. And, oop, that was dumb. Oh well. Not like it's going to slow me down much. In fact, it might have been faster, who knows. And then we... Oh, oh, you know I gotta go back for that. Um, there we go. Oh, shit. Hiding in the dirt, stupid skeletons. God, it's like somebody buried you there. Ridiculous. Alright, we will climb on up. Okay. Oh, gotta get my treasures. Down and continue. Nope. Oh, that was almost terrible. I was almost embarrassed so badly that this video would not be going up. Um, I had a feeling there might be some treasure there, but I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, yeah, this guy blows the bubbles. Jumping on him, he'll start moving. So you gotta make sure you stay with him. And I just lost some magic there, so that's cool. Oh shit. Yeah, I got the moves. Knock that shit off. Would have looked would have looked really dumb if I'd missed that jump after saying what I said. But hey, I did it, so we're good. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Yeah, once you start doing your your shovel pogo, um, it's kind of hard to stop. You can stop, like, if you just do that. But, uh... I don't always remember to do that, so that becomes a problem for me sometimes. There's another one down there. Oop. 
dig up that treasure. Get the big gem here. And four bets. I'll get up here. Huh. More treasure. Back across. Kill the bug. Kill the other bug. Alright, this is pre boss checkpoint. And here is our nemesis. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The cerulean coward. Turn back, shovel knight. There's nothing for you here. Nothing here for you anymore. Got my words mixed up. Stand aside, black knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel! And then he laughs at you. With his super laugh. The Kefka laugh, I've heard it called. Which is rather accurate. But, uh, yeah. Oop! He got me! And he laughed at me for it, you son of a bitch. I was kicking your ass up until that point. Somebody needs to learn humility. Oh, shit! Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's not... It's not... Oh, my God! Okay, no. Stop that. Stop it right now. Oh, I almost blew that real bad, guys. <laughs> but hey, uh, we succeeded, and that's the first level. So we're going to end the recording here. Yeah, he runs off because he's a little pansy. Um, you're going to see him later. But uh, for now, we will just go ahead and end the... Oh, we'll do this section here, too. Um, I forgot that this happens. So sometimes after you finish a level... You will go to this little campfire scene here, and then it'll pan way up in the sky, and you will see Shield Knight, your boo, as it were, um, falling through the sky. And you gotta catch her, because, you know, chivalry and shit, and I'm gonna fuck this up. Oh, no, I made it! Ah, nice. But yeah, like, you gotta catch her, because, you know, you're the man, and, uh, you know... Got to reinforce those gender uh, those gender roles, right? Although, for all I know, Shield Knight could be a could be a woman, so it could be very progressive. Who knows? At any rate, um, yeah, you saw me dig out the uh, campfire there. Yeah, you do that. Um, every time you go to this screen, you want to dig up the campfire because it gives you the money. Anyway, that's gonna be it for our little shovel knight playthrough here. I'll just show you the main screen. And you'll kind of start to get an idea of why this game is awesome, just looking at this screen here, if you're not getting it already. But uh, I'll be back with more later, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed that. And um, I will talk to you all later.